Hey everybody, this is Kim from My Feather Nest. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my Thanksgiving tablescape. And I'm really excited um, about my tablescape this year. I am actually not hosting Thanksgiving dinner at our house. We are going to go to my mom's house. Um, however, I thought it would be a lot of fun to go ahead and put together a tablescape since I have a YouTube channel now and I was hoping that maybe you guys could find some inspiration. Um, this is a very affordable. Everything that is on my table is either from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I even have some thrifted pieces and there's probably a couple miscellaneous pieces um, that I have picked up over the years on there as well. However, it's very affordable. You do not have to spend a lot of money in order to get a very beautiful, elegant tablescape. I think some of the most important things that you can do when creating any kind of a tablescape is number one, layers. Um, and you'll see when I flip the camera around and I'm showing you guys, you'll see several different things that I have layered. Um, another thing obviously is candles. Candles add such a beautiful ambiance. They make everything more elegant um, and it just makes it more festive and fun and cozy. And um, so anyway, like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Get creative. There are so many things that you can find probably just lying around your house. Think outside of the box. Think of ways that you could use pieces to layer with. You can use, um, I ended up using like this little stool that I have had for a long time that I actually thrifted. You can also use old books and stuff like that. Just like I said, think outside of the box. So I hope you guys are ready for Thanksgiving. This is obviously my all time favorite time of the year. Just this whole holiday season. I love, I love the festivities. I love family. I love walking around to the stores and seeing everywhere just all decked out for Christmas. It's just so much fun and I love Thanksgiving. Um, it is my all time favorite dinner of the whole entire year and so I'm really looking forward to it. Like I said, we are going to my mom and dad's house this year for Thanksgiving and she of course always does a beautiful display and if I can, if I can, I'll try and um, get you guys a video, maybe a video clip of that as well. We'll see. But anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed Thanksgiving. We have so much to be thankful for, don't we? Um, and I am excited to tell you, um, over the summer, or actually I don't even know if it was over the summer, um, it might have been when I escaped the hurricane and went to my mother-in-law's house in Ohio. I told you guys, I know I did a haul when I was up there and I told you guys about one of my favorite places to go was Medina. And in Medina, there is a candle company called Root Candle Company. And they sell, of course, candles, and they, but they have this beautiful store that is just filled with a lot of home decor pieces and just a lot of fun things. And um, they, you, they have a lot of, you know, all natural beeswax and stuff like that, types of candles and everything. And um, anyway, I was so excited to be contacted by them. They um, actually gave me a coupon code to share with all of my followers. I am super excited about it because it's 40% off. And of course you can order online. Obviously most people are not gonna live in Medina. Um, and I'm not even sure if this would work. I'm assuming it would work if you are in that area and you go to the store and you tell them the coupon code. Um, Maybe it would work, I'm not sure, but like I said, most of us don't live around there so we can all order online. The only bad thing is, um, is it ends on November 21st. And so you guys have about a week to get on there and get shopping. I just wanted to tell you real quick, um, one of my all time favorite scents is the tobacco vanilla. And that is, well you can't see it in frame right now, but I'm burning it right now on my tablescape. But it is the coziest absolute coziest smell that you can absolutely have. You would think tobacco vanilla, but I am telling you guys, it is, I promise you that it is probably the, my all time favorite candle now. It truly is. And of course, I'm sure you've seen it in some of my other videos. You guys know I love bees and I love honey pots and they have a fabulous honey candle and it smells delicious. That candle is so wonderful that even when it's not burning, if you just have it on display and you walk by it, you can smell it. It's that great. So make sure you guys check out the description box for that coupon code. Make sure you go to Root Candle Company. I will put their um, their web address right on, right in the comment section. Go there, click on that, make sure you enter the coupon code and you will get 40% off. But like I said, it, it, you have to do this by November 21st. So um, I promise you guys will not be disappointed. It's made in America. It's a great company and um, you will love their candles. So anyway, let's go ahead and I let's get started on my 
Thanksgiving tablescape tour. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you find some inspiration and I hope you guys have an absolutely lovely Thanksgiving if I don't see you in another video before then. All right, guys. Love you guys. Okay, guys. So here it is. As you can see, I was telling you that I layered um, pretty much everything that I placed on here and I will go ahead and I will show you um, these gold chargers came from Walmart several years ago the white plates underneath were from Dollar Tree and I just layered it with a grapevine wreath that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and then on top of that I placed a little um, you could use it for a salad you could use it for dessert but it's this super cute little pumpkin plates that I picked up from Walmart and if I'm very, very inexpensive, I want to say they were a little maybe over like they were 250 I think maybe a piece. Um, this table runner, if you guys watch my other videos, this is something that I hauled from Walmart as well. And then I just layered it with this crocheted table topper that I've had for quite some time. The glasses that you see have a gold rim around them and I picked those up from the Dollar Tree several years ago and I have them layered underneath a so my husband cut me some slices of a tree limb and so I just kind of am using them kind of as a coaster these little pumpkins all the pumpkins that you see on the table have come from Walmart and as a matter of fact I just loaded up on several on tons of them several days ago they were on clearance on an end cap at my Walmart and I think these small ones, I only paid nine cents for you guys. So keep a lookout. Don't think that all their Halloween and fall stuff has been clearanced and is gone yet. Keep checking. So anyway, moving on. Um, this cornucopia is probably one of my all-time favorite thrifted pieces I have ever found. Um, I ended up, this is something I was really wanting, a really big cornucopia. And I was never finding one and I just happened a couple years ago I walked into a thrift store and I saw it sitting there and I was so excited it is so if you can really see I'm not sure how well you can really see it on video but it's really different it's really neat of course I did have to doctor it up some with some new fake gourds and some pine cones and some more leaves and I made it really really full looking but I love that cornucopia and I just have used different um, candle holders that I have just, you know, at the house, use what you have. Don't feel like you've got to go and just go crazy by buying new things. The little pumpkin salt and pepper shaker that you see is actually from the Dollar Tree. I actually have to fix the one. He got a little chip, but I just little paint will fix him up nicely. Um, let's see. Okay, I have this butter dish. Actually used to be my grandmother's, and so how sweet that I am able to use something like that on my Thanksgiving table to remind me of her. And um, I'm not really sure how old it is, but I love the color of it. It just goes great with a fall color scheme. And let's see, as you can see, those are some of those candlesticks that you're seeing came from the Dollar Tree. And I also have just little small candle holders as well. I used my cake stand that I purchased from Cracker Barrel last year, right after Christmas, it was on clearance. I used that to prop this super duper cute pumpkin. It's actually kind of like a cookie jar, I guess, but I thought it would be great um, just as another display. Um, you can also use it to put food in or whatever. Now, I will tell you that if Thanksgiving were at my house this year, which it has been in the past, I have a big island in my kitchen, and that is what I would place all of the food on. Um, I don't like really food on the table. I would rather have it at like buffet style just because that way you can enjoy the pretty tablescape versus just having a bunch of food. Um, so anyway, there's that. I also have, there is that wooden stool that I was telling you guys about. I've had that for a long time. I actually picked it up at a thrift store. I just placed a big slice of wood that my husband cut for me on top of it just to add a little bit more height to I have a pilgrim Mr. and Mrs. Pilgrim and I just think they are super cute I have had them for many many years and I'm not even sure where they came from but I love them I've had them for an awful long time so there's that you guys um the only thing I don't have on my table is I don't have utensils so I would love to have a set of gold service, excuse me, serviceware, but I don't have any right now. 
Um, so that's something that I'm actually going to be on the lookout for. Like I said, though, I'm not hosting Thanksgiving dinner this year, so I don't have to have them this year, but I'm going to be on the lookout. But you could always use, they've got really pretty nicer quality plastic utensils that come in different colors. So you could always use something like that. Then you'd have easier cleanup. Um, and I also don't have napkins. So if I had, I thought I had some, but unfortunately I don't. And I, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys just so you guys may be looking for some inspiration. But I think if I had some cloth napkins, I would probably place them underneath of this pumpkin plate and above this grapevine wreath and just kind of fold them over and drape them you know, down. I think that's what I would do. So that is my tablescape for Thanksgiving for 2017. And I hope you guys can find some inspiration. I hope you enjoy watching this. And like I said before, I hope you guys have a absolutely wonderful Thanksgiving this year. All right, thanks, bye.